Hi guys. How's everyone doing? I'll give you a second to start joining in. They can't see me, right? Or hear me? I don't know. Mom, mom, you're not on mute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need to get my dog in the background. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, sweet. I think everyone's in now, so I can go ahead and get started. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Um, we're just going to briefly talk about the past, present, and future of Flyer Consulting, which is a student organization here on campus. Um, we can just start now with some introductions of those that will be presenting today. Um, I'll start off. So hi, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Anderson. I'm currently the president of Flyer Consulting. I'm a junior marketing and MIS major from Dayton, Ohio, and I will go ahead and pass it off to MC to introduce herself next. Hi guys, my name is MC Michaelay. I am a third year computer engineering student. Um, I am from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I am a managing director here at Flyer Consulting. I head up all of our tech staff, um, working internally with all of our clients um, to build their tech portfolios and also like internal within our organization. So, um, and I will pass it off to Matt Martin to introduce himself. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Matt Martin. I am a junior finance major from Columbus, Ohio and I am a Managing Director at Flyer Consulting. Uh, next, I'm going to pass it off to Brian. Hey, everybody. My name is Brian Johnson. Um, I'm a Junior Accounting Major from Naperville, Illinois, and I'm currently a Managing Director on the microlending side of the org. Um, and so I'll go ahead and pass it off to Kelly then. Hi, guys. My name is Kelly Bailey. I am currently a Junior Economics student um, from the suburbs of Chicago, and I am an MD in Flyer Consulting and I will pass it off to Natalie. Hi everybody, my name is Natalie Behrend. I am a junior international business management major from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm currently a project lead for Flyer Consulting. I will pass it off to Charlie. Hey everybody, my name is Charlie DeRoss. I'm a sophomore marketing major. I am from uh, Columbus, Ohio, and I'm a new consultant with Flyer Consulting. Just finished up the intern process and now I'm a consultant. I'll pass it off to Eric. Hey everybody, my name is Eric Fisk. I'm a sophomore finance and entrepreneurship major. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm currently the project lead for the International Micro Lending Program, as well as the virtual finance team. So pass it back to Elizabeth to get us started. Perfect, yeah, thank you all for joining us again. Just to jump right into the presentation. Here's a brief agenda of what we're gonna be talking about. Um, we'll start off with an overview of Flyer Consulting as a whole, then go into the history and growth of our organization, followed by that with the clients and impact of our work. And then lastly, we will go into some future opportunities, how you can potentially join um, in the coming semesters. So to jump right into an overview of Flyer Consulting, we are a completely student-run organization here at UD. Our mission is to better our students, clients, and community through the provision of our professional business services. We will go into more detail on what those services are with our two solution portfolios um, and our two programs a little bit later, but I wanted to talk on the intentional structure of our mission statement. So the students come first. We recognize that we are a completely college run organization. Um, we want the impact of the work and the experience to help progress the student's knowledge and really prepare them for the workforce. Next after that is the clients. Again, we do do all of this work for um, free and we're working with our clients to further their mission and their impact in the community. And then following that is the community. Again, we are working with their missions just to progress them forward and see what we can help them do going into the future. Um, after that is our vision. It's just to be the most strategic partner for our clients and partners for their journey to positively impact their communities. Um, it's just 
really great to be a part of this organization. Um, I know it's one of my favorite parts uh, about the University of Dayton, just having this opportunity. So I appreciate you joining and learning a little bit more about what we do. To go into our growth, we first started in 2009. Um, we were pretty small back then. We were actually a branch of Flyer Enterprises. Pretty soon after that, we realized that we needed to kind of be our own organization, um, no longer be paid and kind of work pro bono for our different clients. So briefly after dealing with a change in the spring of 2016 is really when projects started ramping back up. We were taking roughly four clients a semester and then going into the fall, we had roughly 20 consultants in our organization. Year after that, in the spring of 2017, we took on our first international client. So that was a big growth um, point for our mission um, and kind of getting out of this niche community. Then in the fall of 2018, we launched our micro lending program. We again will go into further detail of that, but just to add two additional programs in addition to nonprofit consulting was another big growth moment. Um, in the fall of 2019, we had our first loan disbursements in Nairobi, Kenya. And then lastly, leading up to where we are now in the spring of 2021, we've grown to 60 plus consultants with six clients a semester. So it's just a brief overview of how we started and how we got to where we are today. Um, Work-wise, I will pass it off to Matt to talk about personnel growth. Yeah, perfect. So as Elizabeth was mentioning, um, you know, as we've grown as an organization, we've we've also grown with the people that we've been attracting and the people in our org. Um, so at the beginning of the semester, we started with 48 members and we recently just added 13 new consultants, um, 13 members that went through the intern program. Um, so now we have 61 members um, in our org, which is huge compared to that 20, you know, that Elizabeth talked about just a few years ago. Um, but if you look at a few of these charts, you can see the disbursement of where our consultants are right now at school. So if, if you look in the top right, you can see that a majority of our consultants do um, belong into the School of Business. Um, so that's just because, you know, uh, this is a consulting organization. So we do get a larger draw from the business school. But as we've been growing, we've been seeing the new needs of our clients um, and the new areas where we can improve and help kind of expand our portfolio. So we've been drawing uh, a lot of more students from a lot of different schools. So we have the School of Arts and Sciences, uh, the School of Engineering, and then cross-disciplinary studies also making up our org. Um, and when you look into the bottom right, you can see the majors also. So we have a variety of different majors. I think we're uh, composed of up to around 20 majors, uh, which is really cool to see. And that's expanding outside of the uh, SBA. So uh, you can note that the largest are SBA uh, majors like finance, marketing, accounting, and entrepreneurship, but we do have some like uh, graphic design, computer engineering, human rights, and international studies, uh, some really cool majors that are helping to really uh, diversify our thought as an org and also diversify the uh, solutions that we can offer to our clients. So next, uh, just talking a little bit about the work um, that we'll be going into here after I'm done talking. Um, Flyer Consulting, we're broken up into two different verticals. We have the nonprofit consulting, which is uh, what we started off doing, like Elizabeth mentioned, having those uh, nonprofits that we're delivering solutions to. And then we also have a micro lending program, which she touched on earlier as well. Uh, but that's loaning money off to, uh, one program is loaning money to Nairobi, Kenya, um, and giving money to uh, entrepreneurs starting businesses there. And then another fund that we're working on starting soon uh, we'll be loaning money to small uh, businesses here with uh, here in Dayton that are minority owned. So uh, really cool programs and really cool future ahead for Flyer Consulting. Uh, but next, uh, I'm going to pass it to Natalie. This is going to talk about our solution portfolio. So as Matt mentioned on the nonprofit consulting side, um, we've actually experienced a lot of growth of our solutions over the past year. Um, as Elizabeth was mentioning, our goal is to be our, the most strategic partner for our clients. So we constantly are innovating our solutions to better aid our clients and expand our knowledge as consultants and as students. So we have um, three solutions that we offer. Um, first being our technical, which includes recommending, implementing, optimizing software platforms for nonprofits to digitize their operations and become a lot more efficient. Um, we'll go through different examples of these. 
business development. Um, that includes operations and finance. So we're looking at the current state of the nonprofit and helping shape their future to maximize their impact. Those include new venture analysts, um, capital campaign strategies, donor engagement strategies. Finally, we have marketing solutions, which analyze current framework to implement strategies and processes to achieve goals and higher engagement. So this looks like um, growth within those with social media audits, um, branding projects, focusing on incorporating data into all of your marketing solutions. Um, and then I will talk about the business development side. So I was on a project last semester where we focused on creating a comprehensive financial model for a cooperative delivery service in Dayton. Um, this was unique, especially because we were combating challenges that restaurants faced during the pandemic. Um, so this looked like some of our sprints, we were conducting market research to coordinate between restaurants to give really the best value add for everyone involved in the project. It was truly a community project. Um, and so there's a lot of passion driven behind that. We also um, created some financial modeling, made sure that we could get the service up and running in time. Uh, there was a good deadline for that project, but as a student learned a lot about um, financial modeling, problem solving, and creating proactive decision-making, um, especially in a time of great uncertainty to better our community. Um, now I'm gonna actually hand it off to Kelly to talk about our marketing solutions. Yeah, so this semester I was the project lead for a marketing-based project where our team focused on a social media audit in our first sprint, um, which is basically where we analyzed the current state of their social media platforms and then provided the client recommendations for those platforms based on research that we found or maybe a peer analysis. Um, so then we provided a deliverable regarding those recommendations. And then the second sprint, um, we focused more heavily on a search engine optimization and Google Analytics outlook, um, where we gained access to those um, portfolios and kind of looked into the analytics of each in order to create more traffic to their website and also retain um, viewers on their website. And that was through keywords and meta tags. And then lastly, we focused on kind of an overall brand strategy where we looked at um, comprehensive actionable steps for the organization so that going forward, they could use the kind of guide that we created for them um, for the future of the organization and brand cohesiveness. And next I'll pass it off to MC who will talk more about the technical side of, of nonprofit consulting. So our um, technical client portfolio is a range of many different things, right? It can be anywhere from using our internal tools that we built, um, such as our health check to help our clients um, do a financial analysis. It could be a CRM implementation, or it could be like a data process audit, right? We're going in there, we're editing the entry of their data, the um, output of their data and the analysis of their data. So we have a wide range of technical solutions that we can provide for our clients. Um, one example of a project that was super impactful that we worked on um, for a client was they had two different database systems. So one for compliance and one for their personal performance. Um, so we analyzed each of the databases that they currently use and we learned the processes. We did a SWOT analysis and then we found and recommended a solution which would bring them, um, sorry, there's a super loud car driving by on the street. Um, but that would bring them both um, into one comprehensive system, right? So this impacted both um, the client and our students. Um, the impact on the client was that it eliminated duplicates from their system. It produced better reports and it was real time. So it would allow everyone across the organization to communicate more effectively and in turn make better decisions. This added value for our students because we were able to take a well ingrained process, flip it on its head and expose the root cause of miscommunications in under utilization of different systems. And I'm gonna pass it off to myself to continue talking um, about um, our project timeline with our clients. So the first step in our project timeline is that we acquire our clients. So a wide range of clients come to us, right? They apply on our website. Um, and so we, our goal is to differentiate the work that we do each semester so we can mix our solutions, right? We don't ever want a semester of full marketing solutions, right? We want some tech, we want some biz dev, 
Um, we do that for two reasons. Um, one, to like stretch um, the mind of our students to get them the experience that they want. And then two, to make sure that we're diversifying the type of work that we're giving back to the community. The next step that we take um, within our project engagement timeline is our initial client meeting. So we have um, in the, at this time on a Zoom call, we get on a Zoom call and we talk with our clients, right? Previous to that, we do some research. We, we use our health check guidebook in order to assess their financial situation. We look at their information online, on their website, on GuideStar. We get back on their clients, then we have a meeting with them to identify pain points that they have in their current organization to see which types of our solutions will align with the problems that they have. The next step that we do is we have an LOE slash NDA. So an LOE is a letter of engagement, which outlines specific elements um, of our project so that our clients understand like upfront what we're gonna be working on, the scope of our engagement for each semester, um, and that we're not gonna go outside of that. And then the NDA just basically states that any information that our clients have internal is not gonna go outside of Flyer Consulting. We're not gonna go spill their financial information, even though it technically is public, but like any other private, like information, we're not gonna like go tell a bunch of people. And even in this presentation, like you don't use like the names of your clients when you're talking about the work, things like that. So that's what our documentation is kind of about. Um, the next step then is the project variation. So we aim to have a variety of projects within each engagement, like I said before. So we wanna do something like a social media audit, a Hootsuite setup, a capital campaign, a financial model, CRM recommendation, right? All different things to stretch the mind of our students and impact different people within the community. And lastly, we um, the last step is then like suggesting solutions for our clients. So our project variation that we had in the previous step allows us to expand our solutions and offer a wide range of services um, to impact our clients in the future. And I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I'm gonna pass it off to Elizabeth and she is gonna talk about our clients that are upcoming for this fall semester. Perfect. Thanks, MC. Yeah, so just to kind of get into a sneak peek on what we're going to be working on in the fall of 2021, we again are taking on six nonprofit clients within our nonprofit consulting um, program. We will be working on a wide variety of different mixes of projects. Um, like MC was saying, we're now mixing marketing and biz dev together, biz dev and technical or solutions are really overlapping, which is really cool to see. And it adds just that much more value for our students. Um, so as you can see, all of the logos of the organizations that we'll be working with are on the right. Um, the types of work we will be doing first, starting with donor network development. A lot of those nonprofits that we will be working with are very, very new, um, right in the startup stages. We are working on kind of building them up from scratch, basically. Um, some don't have donor networks yet, um, kind of how are we gonna document that? How are we gonna get them to sustainably grow into the future? Um, so that's kind of something that's new and really exciting. Next is community outreach and awareness. Again, very new organizations. We need to get their names out there and make sure that they have a plan um, to continue into the future. Program expansion and growth, again, goes on to the same thing we do have a new batch, um, so helping them progress um, in addition to what they're currently doing, kind of adding on additional areas of ways they can help the community and um, the people that they're currently serving. So speaking towards the community impact of the organizations that we will be helping, there are a lot of human services and youth development, whether it be a nonprofit um, youth homeless shelter in Cincinnati or just uh, New Beginnings for You, which is um, youth in the Dayton area, just helping them have services to go to after school, um, just different areas for that development. And then also on the other side of that is community assistance and beautification. I Love West Dayton is helping um, clean the streets of West Dayton and pick up trash and have lots of groups helping with that. And community assistance towards the Mission of Mary Cooperative, which is providing necessary food and resources to those in food deserts. So we're really excited about this impact that we're gonna be making for the next semester. And the student value add, just to include that on top of everything, we're gonna be engaging with these emerging community leaders. Again, these very, very new nonprofits are just starting into the community and just being able to kind of dip their toes in what they're gonna be able to do moving into the future and kind of being able to hop on that train and help them 
um, make that initial jump is something that's gonna be very impactful. And lastly, as I mentioned, we're gonna be building off of previous projects and expanding our portfolios. We now have a lot of projects that are um, mixing together different solutions. So being able to build off of when we would previously just do an audit or see where they currently are, we're not no longer only having that as a solution. We're progressing that forward and building off of it to where we can actually implement, actually see what we're doing in the community uh, moving forward. So a lot of exciting stuff is coming for the next semester. And um, that's kind of all we have for the nonprofit consulting side of things. I will pass it off to Ryan to kick it off with microlending. Thanks, Elizabeth. Yeah, so like she kind of mentioned, um, that was pretty much it for the nonprofit consulting side, which is a great side of the organization. I've been fortunate enough to work on the micro lending side throughout my time, um, and I've loved every second of it. Um, so on the micro lending side, um, we'll talk a little bit more specifically about the two different programs. Um, but we were founded in about 2018, so um, pretty relatively new. Um, we were actually founded on, under a different name within the organization, but we've recently rebranded to Flyer Consulting Microlending. Um, as we developed our services, um, we kind of established two different loan programs. So it kind of just made sense that we, you know, call ourselves microlending. Um, and the reason behind the microlending side is um, the nonprofit consulting side is working with nonprofits and providing them solutions in our portfolios and doing great work. Um, but there's also other, you know, services that we can provide to entrepreneurs, such as capital. Um, and so through our local international programs, um, that's what we're doing. Um, the international program, which you'll hear about a little bit later, um, has been pretty successful in lending over the last few semesters. And then the local team, um, we're excited to kind of kick off our program here soon. Um, but as also, as you can see through this slide, um, we, we would not be able to do the work we do without our partnerships. Um, so on the local side, we were partnered with the Greater West Dayton Incubator, um, which I'll talk about on the next slide. And then on the international side, we're partnering with the Imani Marianists over in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, so we can go ahead and transition more into the local side um, and kind of explain what we do. So this semester um, and the last semester, we've really been working with the Greater West Dayton Incubator to implement our own micro lending program. Um, so if you don't know, the Greater West Dayton Incubator is an organization um, through the University of Dayton, um, which basically is providing resources to historically underrepresented and historically um, underfunded entrepreneurs in, over in the West Dayton area. Um, and that's kind of head, headed up by their own manager. Um, they have a physical location that'll be opening soon. Um, and they provide a lot of resources. Um, and we've kind of added on to that with our micro lending program and together we've started to implement what we call the cultural capital micro lending program um, and so through this program um, entrepreneurs over in west dayton and also in the dayton area in general will be able to apply for our loans which range from anywhere from 500 to 20 20 000 us dollars um, and as you can kind of see also on the on this slide we have about 250,000 of funding um, that we've received through anonymous donors um, and so we're really putting that money to good work um, and lending to historically um, underrepresented entrepreneurs. Um, so more specifically on my team through this last semester, we've really prepared a bunch of the marketing materials for the program. Um, we created an application and we've also developed our review process. So when an applicant um, ultimately applies for our program, um, we'll be able to go through um, the application itself and the required documentation that they submit um, and make our decisions about whether or not we're going to um, extend a loan to them. And so, like I kind of mentioned also, this program is not up and running yet, um, although we are looking to launch it within the next couple of weeks um, and hopefully start lending over this summer, which is very exciting. Um, it's been a long work in process for me and my team. Um, so we're excited to kind of kick that off. Um, looking more to the impact, I mean, I've kind of already touched on it, but just providing capital um, and also specialized services to marginalized entrepreneurs. Um, so what's unique about our program is that we're not just lending um, $15,000 to an entrepreneur. Um, after we lend to them, we'll actually begin working with them um, and kind of making sure that they're using that money in the right way, um, that they are doing the necessary steps to grow um, and progress their business. Um, so we're not just providing them a loan and then, you know, expecting them to repay. We'll actually be engaging with them. Um, and another also cool thing about our program is 
Um, we're a non-traditional source of funding, obviously. We're not the government and we're not like an actual small business, um, you know, loan provider. Um, and so we're helping our entrepreneurs become bank ready. Um, so an entrepreneur who might not be able to get a loan from the government or the Small Business Association um, could come to us, um, get a loan through us, we'll work with them, really help them grow their business. And then ultimately we can help them secure an actual traditional source of funding. Um, and that's also really you know, impactful on the student end, um, just working with entrepreneurs. So not only growing our entrepreneurial skill set, um, but also seeing what it actually takes to be an entrepreneur and impacting clients um, and, and organizations in the community, um, working on our financial assessment. There's a lot of that, go that goes into the lending and managing that pipeline. Um, and then also just overall being more engaged in our community. Um, that's kind of what our program is aimed towards. And so, like I said, we're really excited to get that kicked off. Um, but now we'll pass it off to Eric and he can talk a little bit more about the international side. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Um, so getting into a little bit more of the international microlending side, we are partnered with an organization, they're called the Imani Marinus, based in Nairobi, Kenya. And a lot of the work that we do is we administer microloans as well as just different valuable business expertise to different entrepreneurs there. Um, kind of the work that we do is that these loans go to entrepreneurs in obviously the impoverished neighborhoods of Nairobi. Uh, kind of in an effort to accelerate the build out of the just the overall business infrastructure. But a lot of the internal work that we do is just kind of building out the processes of how we go about administering these microloans. So we do a lot of kind of financial metric build outs to kind of analyze where we are in terms of our money. We do a lot of applicant management. We do donor management to kind of give back to our and thank you to our donors who kind of make all of this possible. And all of this kind of ties into our impact. So our impact is that we empower those living in impoverished neighborhoods to really better themselves as well as their communities. Um, the mission statement of our partner is to raise the lowly to high places. And I think this is really kind of exemplified by the amount of money that we've been able to loan out in total. Um, this semester, we loaned out just over 5,000 US dollars, which brings our total up to about 26,000. And just to kind of show this impact, that equates to 2.8 million Kenyan shillings. So it just kind of shows that the money or the, the work that we are doing really does add up and it makes a difference on these uh, local entrepreneurs that, like Brian said, might not be able to get loans from, um, from their local banks or their local government. But kind of the value that it adds to our students is uh, we're able to provide our students the opportunity to work with international finance that a lot of other students aren't really given that opportunity to be a part of an organization that does that. We're able to kind of really see how to evaluate a business, um, evaluate a small business and kind of see how they get up and grow as well as just kind of learn some of the cultural differences. Like I said, our partner is in Nairobi, Kenya, and there's just a lot of interpersonal differences that a great experience to kind of learn how to deal with that and kind of interact with people that are from a different culture than me. Um, and now I'll get into um, on the next slide, just a little bit of our community impact. Um, so as Elizabeth had kind of talked about earlier, we have been growing a lot as of late and kind of expanding our impact in our cult or in our um, partnerships. Uh, this is just a graphic of our impact kind of global, global and worldwide. So as you can see, we have really expanded outside the United States and kind of into that global worldwide impact. Um, this growth has been both in the micro lending side as well as the nonprofit consulting side. And I know kind of in the future, we're looking to really expand on this and continue to build out our partnerships and future clients. So I'll pass it off to Kelly to talk about just some of our kind of future goals. Yeah, so kind of going back to the process of choosing clients and Elizabeth kind of touched quickly on our clients for uh, the upcoming semester, something that Flyer Consulting has been focusing on more heavily is working with organizations that fit these sustainable development goals. So whether that be an organization that works closely with breast cancer awareness and research or a mentoring program 
or maybe building up West Staten, we really want to work with clients that are impacting their community, but also can impact, you know, the um, consultants within our organization. So the impact goes, uh, it's like a two way street. And then um, based off of that, going forward to the next slide, uh, the impact that the students have from the organization. Uh, as you can see, there are numerous uh, companies that our consultants have gone on to work in. And so the impact and experience that they've had within uh, Flyer Consulting, they kind of are able to take on and use during interview processes and use their hands-on and unique experiences as consultants since this um, organization is pretty unique for um, college experience in general and use the variety of skills that they've acquired through being consultants within this organization. Um, and as you can see through the different examples, it doesn't really matter what industry they go into because our um, consultants are able to take the skills that they've acquired regardless of it being either finance or marketing or um, a biz dev or even consulting, uh, all the skills that they've kind of created and learned through their experience within Flyer Consulting goes on for years to come, regardless of the company they end up at. And next I'll pass it on to Matt, who will go more in depth within the organization and the people part of it. Yeah, thanks Kelly. Um, so as you've heard throughout this presentation, uh, Flyer Consulting really has a huge impact on the us students. Um, it's a really cool group of students that you get to meet through Flyer Consulting. Uh, we're all very like-minded and driven, and I don't think any of us are ever complacent with where we're at. So uh, one of the big things that we do as managing directors and uh, just in Flyer Consulting in general is, you know, really prioritize investing in our consultants and constantly learning. Uh, so here I'm just going to talk a little bit about our um, people process, how you kind of move through the org. Um, and talk a little bit about some main points. So first, starting off at the bottom of that pyramid, we have recruiting. Um, so we recruit every semester. Uh, so we already recruited for this semester and already have our new interns, but starting in the fall, we will be recruiting again. Um, so if you're here, look out for emails from us. We do a lot of marketing and outreach um, before, those, before our application is out. So we'll do um, social media posts. Um, I'm sure we'll have our social media up here later, which you can follow. Um, but we also have a website where we have the application. We do classroom talks. Um, so you'll see some flyer consultants in your uh, classroom. And then we'll also send out those mass emails through your advisors, um, trying to get more input from people like in the computer engineering realm, um, different technical areas. So trying to really branch out that way. And then also for recruiting, we do a lot of different events. We have, we're at up the orgs. Um, we'll do a little barbecue cookout. Uh, when COVID is, uh, you know, gone, they're not here. Um, so couldn't do that this year, but it's a great way for us to be able to meet you um, and meet new people in the org or new people that are trying to get in the org. Um, and then we'll do a formal presentation uh, where we'll kind of talk about the organization. Um, and then leading into that, we do have an application process. Um, so once you apply for Flyer Consulting, you go through a first round of interviews, uh, which is mainly just behavioral questions, trying to figure out if you're the right culture fit for our org and if you have the same values that we have. Uh, and then if you complete that first round, you'll go on to the second round of interviews, which is a little case study um, to kind of test your critical thinking. Um, and then from there, you will be admitted into Flyer Consulting and you'll be an intern. Um, so that kind of moves up into the next tier there of the pyramid, which is the training portion. Um, so once we're in Flyer, once you're in Flyer Consulting, you never really stop learning. Um, Personally, I've been on multiple different projects, multiple different areas in Flyer Consulting, and each new project is, an, is a new learning opportunity. Uh, but once you're part of the org, you become an intern. Uh, so your first semester as a consultant is not actually spent on a project, but it's spent learning about what we do as an org and um, the different areas that uh, you, know, you can kind of grow in. So we'll do like a public speaking. Uh, we'll do these different case studies that uh, bring you know, different lights and different solutions to the, to the interns and allows them to really grow their critical thinking skills. And then we also offer, once you're past that uh, intern part um, and you're a consultant, we also offer a lot of continuous training. So um, we'll do like project management training. We have like SQL, um, you know, MC can teach you some tech stuff if you wanna learn. Um, so it's really cool opportunity to learn. Um, a lot of different areas and you have people from all different majors like we've mentioned before you don't have to be in the business school um, so you really get to learn from a lot of cool different perspectives 
uh, people who have taken a lot of different classes. And then that last tier on the pyramid is promote. Uh, so we have continuous promotion through leadership um, and expert position or su subject matter expert positions. Um, so moving up in the org, you can be a consultant or um, as Eric mentioned, Eric's a project lead and so is Natalie this semester. Um, so both have had the opportunity to then lead a team um, and be able to communicate with your client. And then you have another step up, which is the managing director, which is what I am, Elizabeth, Brian, Kelly, MC. Um, and they were, and then we're looking to the future of the org um, and working as a board to try to help uh, internally and externally what we can do best. And then you have the top, the president, um, which is Elizabeth. Uh, so there's a lot of cool leadership in positions within the org um, and you're constantly learning. So it's a really cool uh, kind of community that we have here where we're all helping each other out and all really driven. Uh, so next, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the mini course. Um, so the mini course is not available to anybody here. Um, it's offered in the fall of uh, every year and it is an eight week program offered just for first semester uh, freshmen. Uh, so if you know any freshmen coming to UD, let them know about the mini course. Um, but what it is, is it's all first year students and it's just a nightly class once a week and you kind of get together and you learn a little bit about flyer consulting and, and you're able to work on a case study. So um, some of the things that we do there, uh, talking about this pyramid, we have the critical thinking. Um, so like I mentioned, we have that case study uh, that lets these new first semester freshmen kind of learn how to look at nonprofits financials, uh, look at their marketing, see what areas they can improve in, and then offer solutions at the end of the semester. Uh, we have a pre professional speaking training. Um, we kind of get you up in front of the class and get you a little more comfortable talking to other people and talking in front of a group of people. Uh, and then we have nonprofit sector. We have um, Dr. Nielsen from the uh, nonprofit and community leadership program. He comes and he'll, he'll speak to the freshmen and kind of talk about um, nonprofits in general and, and we'll mention what we've been, been able to do in the community. And then we have consulting as a career. So one thing that's really cool is we have um, consultants who are actually out in the workforce um, come in and talk to the uh, freshmen about you know, what it is to be a consultant, what you have to do, um, you know, kind of what the career path is like, which is really cool. Uh, to gain that personal connection with uh, you know somebody that who's very respected in their industry, and then finally you know flyer consulting overview. That's really what the whole course is about. It's to show you what who we are as an org and what we do. Um, so it's a really cool opportunity if you're a freshman to get involved in that. Uh, but next, I'm going to pass it off to Charlie, and he's going to talk about the intern program, which I mentioned earlier is what you do as your first semester as a consultant. Yeah, thanks so much, Matt. Um, just going into that intern program, uh, I myself just finished up the intern program. It was semester long. Um, and kind of like Matt said, it, there's, there's always this continual learning process with Flyer Consulting. You're always trying to learn new things. And um, kind of going into Flyer Consulting, I went through the interview process. I went through this and I was like, okay, what do I do next? And they said, we're going to do the, um, this intern program. And I, I was kind of intrigued, like, what is that? I thought they were going to maybe throw me into a project or but no there's this intern program and it is a really really unique and really great opportunity to learn um many of the things i learned through the intern program uh, i have not yet learned in my class um so gives me that step ahead when I, I i reach that in the classroom um and what it is is it's led by a uh, flower consulting intern leader um it's like i said semester long and you'll go through there's about one to two meetings per week and going through a couple of these themes, themes on here, a little bit of project project management, how to work on a project with a team, really the ins and outs of all of that. Um, professional development, how to make a brand for yourself, how to, um, again, kind of really learn how to interview, how to network, th those sort of things. Um, moving on to public speaking, um, just really how to properly, properly public speak, um, those sort of things like the body language, et cetera. Um, and Excel and Tableau, something that are, are extremely crucial, I believe, um, something that I didn't know going into the intern process too well. Um, but it really, really now knowing that it does give me a, a step uh, ahead, a, a step ahead on the competition when heading into that uh, a job search or the intern search. Now I can say I'm proficient in Excel or Tableau and I know how to use those um, and and kind of. Another theme that we looked into in are these client processes and consulting is what what is that career beyond 
uh, Flower Consulting? What are the things, what do actual consultants do and really understanding how what we're applying it works in the real world? And these are just some central themes that we looked over in some of the meetings that we had. Another, another great, great thing we looked into it is diversity and how having that uh, d diverse workplace is so crucial to uh, just having, having success. Um, and, and in conjunction with all of this, um, there are three case studies that uh, we went through with a team, a uh, different team every time. Um, and these would happen in maybe uh, one to two week increments where you'd work with a team and go through that sort of thing. And uh, something that I really enjoyed about that process is, is really understanding like how to work with a team of people who are just so motivated. And it, it's not like, it's not like, oh, you're picking up the slack. Everyone is equally equally motivated on this project and trying to get to the end goal or result of presenting. Um, and yeah, I've learned so much and um, it's been great getting to connect with the people of Flyer Consulting. I'm excited for uh, next semester. I I'm now a consultant after finishing the intern program. Um, and yeah, that's just pretty much the bare bones of what the intern program is. Um, again, I highly value this experiential learning. Um, there's only, again, there's only so much you can learn in the classroom and just having that flyer consulting experience, I feel like it's just gave, given me uh, so, so many new talents and skills that I can really hone in on and, and take to the workplace, my internship uh, uh, to the next, next level, I suppose. Um, again, thank you so much for your time. Um, I hope some of what I said piqued some of your interest. I'm gonna pass it on to Elizabeth to close it. Awesome, thanks, Charlie. Um, so yeah, just to kind of wrap things up here, I really encourage you to check out our website, flyerconsulting.com. Um, there you can learn a little bit more about our organization. This is just a brief overview of kind of what we're currently doing, where we want to go in the future. Um, if you have any questions, I will have the presenters stay on a little bit after if you want to ask a question right here. But if anything comes up in the future, please email us at flyerconsulting at gmail.com. Um, someone will be there to assist you with that. Um, but as Matt mentioned, we will be going into recruitment come fall. So please follow us on social media. We will post all of our updates there. We will send um, some emails out, um, really let you know how you can get connected and let you know that whole process when it's finalized come fall. But again, thank you so much for being with us here today, um, learning a little bit more about our organization that we all love so much. Um, again, if you have any questions right now, we will stay on for a little bit later afterwards, but thank you. And I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday. Good job, guys.